Don't look at me like that. I don't need you. everyone it's time for the garden tour and everything's coming up over here all right so right here we got some eggplant and this is the okra all coming up we got three rows of okra we got way more than three rows of okra. We got over here. There is dill and no heat jalapenos called Triptu. And I have a poblano pepper. Looks like a gorge is just growing out there. That's a gourd plant that's growing up, volunteer from last year. I've got those tall things, the dill, of course, and then you've got the jalapenos. And then if we go further forward, squash, acorn squash, and I think acorn squash again. And then there's two types of pumpkins in these, right here. And then we come around, and I have summer squash all through here. small row of sunflowers. Alright, so we have a lot of problems with ground squirrels and birds eating all of our plants. And this year we had no problems whatsoever. All thanks to the sunflower. Did you put that? Flower patch. We 
I've had all sorts of stuff in here rooting things around. Okay, this is the corn. I weed in the middle because it's hard to weed in between in the rows without getting them. And I need to fix that. This is the, this is horrible. Absolutely horrible. There's nothing here. This is lawn. This is just lawn. Pay no attention to the cabbage leaves in this. Because I have a lot of garden I have to take care of. And I've been doing other things on top of working. So this cabbage patch has gotten neglected. But the corn is doing gorgeous. And the sunflowers are amazing. This is... This kept all of the animals out of our um, corn and cabbage. Because I took a 50 pound bag and early season I just spread them all over the place. They came out here, we had wild turkeys and all sorts of birds in this right here. Scratching up, eating, videotaping it, it was really neat. So this front half of this section is sunflowers and I cannot stress to you enough how well it kept off the ground as well. Alright. Now is a more closely tended garden coming up. Alright, I have lettuce in here, which I need to weed as well. <coughs> I have really been busy. And then we have potatoes. I got more potatoes. And there's a row of lettuce. This is a row of beets. And this fence has sweet peas, or sugar snap, and on this side of it there are cucumbers. Cucumber plants all along the fence on this side. So these are all sugar peas, sugar snap peas, snow peas, and pickling cucumbers. And now we're to my tomato row. tomatoes. So, at the moment I have about 350 plants. Which I have been taking care of. And even some on the end here start. Oh there's, there's tomatoes right there. There's tomatoes there. There's tomatoes bigger tomatoes so these two rows on the end here I just put in tomatoes. This is my grandmother's row. She got these two. And up here. is all lima beans in this section. And dragon tongue bush beans in that one. tractor. I have 
have a row of cucumelons. Right through here. There's a cucumelon. There's a cucumelon. Cucumelons all the way down this thing. So I hope you enjoy me prepping the tomato bed and the garden tour. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, hit all the buttons. And comment, please comment. Uh, till next time, this has been Heavy Henry, signing out. <laughs>